So next up, Frankenstein. Frankenstein, which is actually the name of the creator, not the name of the monster. It's a common mistake that all, a lot of truly stupid people make. <laughs> okay, now Frankenstein. Frankenstein definitely fared better in the sequels department. There were no less than three proper sequels, all of which continue from one to the next. You have the original with Bela Lugosi, which is just fantastic. I really don't need to say anything more about that. I mentioned, actually, that... Uh, the original Dracula didn't have a score. Well, neither did the original Frankenstein. They're, they're just eerily scoreless. And actually, in the case of Frankenstein, I think it actually helps to add to the eeriness of it. Like when, when Boris Karloff, as the monster, first comes out and you see that sort of just dead look on his face, it's very creepy, like even to this day. There's just something about it that is just quite chilling and effective, even now in today's jaded horror movie viewer world. He really comes across as convincing as a creature made out of reanimated dead tissue. <laughs> yeah, amazing stuff. And then of course Bride of Frankenstein, which a lot of people consider to be better than the original. I'm not really going into plot summaries of these ones because you know them. And if you don't know them, you should! You can't call yourself a horror fan unless you've ever seen these movies. Okay. And then a few years after that, so we had Frankenstein in 1931, Bride of Frankenstein in 1935, and then four years after that, in 1939, we had Son of Frankenstein. Now, Son of Frankenstein marks the last time that Boris Karloff played the creature. Basil Rathbone, of Sherlock Holmes fame, actually played the, uh, the son of Dr. Frankenstein, Wolf Frankenstein. And he was the, uh, the son of Henry Frankenstein. I know in the book it was Victor Frankenstein, but for some reason that nobody seems to know, they changed his name to Henry Frankenstein for the movies. I don't know. Anyway, one thing I love about Son of Frankenstein is Bela Lugosi is in it as Igor. And he turns in an absolute tour de force performance as Igor. He is just so much fun to watch. I mean, they, he turned him into this real conniving, scheming, plotting, backstabbing bastard of a character who is just a hoot. Basically, the character of Igor in this, they tried to hang him after the last movie and left him hanging there and he was pronounced dead but it turned out he wasn't dead he was actually still alive just his neck was broken and disfigured so he kind of walks around like this a lot he doesn't have the obligatory hunchback but he does have a quite gruesomely disfigured neck like the makeup on it was really quite good so there's one scene in a courtroom where he's confronting some of the guys who originally convicted him to hang and just the way he messes with their heads is just priceless and hilarious. Love that. So basically, in the case of uh, Son of Frankenstein, what Basil Rathbone, as the son of, of his father, is trying to do is try to clear the name of Frankenstein by reviving the creature once again, who apparently is still alive, uh, rescued by Igor from the, the end of the previous one. He's trying to revive him and rehabilitate him and try to fix him so that he won't be such a rampaging monster anymore and such. Needless to say, it all goes horribly wrong and it all ends in tears. But it's a great, uh, it's a great follow-up to the previous two, I think, and I, I really think it's underrated. It's not as good as the previous two, but it is still quite enjoyable, and it is uh, an entertaining sequel. And as I say, I think it's worth it just to watch, just to watch, well, first off, to watch Basil Rathbone going to pieces, trying to conceal the fact that he's reviving the monster, and there's this, there's this uh, inspector who's constantly in his face with a false arm, who I think has been the subject of a few Frankenstein parodies. Brilliantly played by Lionel Atwill. Lionel Atwill's in a lot of these sequels as well, and he's just a wonderful, wonderful actor. So you have uh, the inspector constantly, you know, sniffing around, thinking there's something going on. Basil Rathbone going, literally going to pieces, just trying to keep everything hush-hush and covered up and, out, and keep the inspector out of his business. And then you got Bela Lugosi turning in this awesome performance as, as one of the, I think, one of the most interesting incarnations of Igor ever to grace the screen. And then finally, in the Frankenstein cycle, we had The Ghost of Frankenstein, which again is a direct sequel to Son of Frankenstein. Ghost of Frankenstein is easily the weakest entry. There's certain things in it that just kind of leave you scratching your head, like why the hell would that character do that? 
Uh, Lionel Atwell is back again, as uh, this time as a, a surgeon, who's uh, I think he's a brain surgeon if I remember. Yeah, uh, basically the, he and um, the other son of Frankenstein have perfected a process where they can transplant the brain of a person from one person to another. So. Uh, what their idea is, is to replace the Frankenstein monster's brain with a properly functioning one. Igor, however, has other plans. He wants them to transplant his brain into the Frankenstein monster so that he will be unstoppable. Because Igor is quite an evil little bastard. And uh, put that brain into the Frankenstein monster's body? Wow, that would not be a good combination. Does he convince them to do it? Well, you'll have to watch the movie and find out but he sure as heck tries. And, uh, yeah, so there's a few moments there that kind of leave you scratching your head, but overall it's not a bad movie, and it's a, it's a nice kind of wrap-up to the whole saga. I just love how all of these offspring of Frankenstein just kind of keep popping up out of the woodwork, you know? It's like, oh, we'll go see his other son that we've never heard any mention of until right now. Mm-hmm. So apparently, you know, Frankenstein was in between creating life was getting a lot of action from Mrs. Frankenstein there. Okay, so that, and then we have House of Frankenstein, which is actually the middle chapter of the trilogy I was talking about, so we'll come back to that in a bit. Next up, we have The Wolfman. <laughs>